Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I'm Sankey 84 and welcome to Train Station Revelation. Now, when I was younger, and actually even now, I enjoyed playing with train sets, building them up, seeing them like change and grow, and I also enjoy games that sometimes that are just nice and chill and relaxed. And when I saw this, I thought, well, you know what, I've got to get it. It's a nice, relaxing, chill game where you go around fixing up old train stations and design them how you like. So, I got it, I started playing it, and I completed it. It's not a very long game and it is only just out so there is a lot of potential but today i thought with our Sh middle of shadow of mordor series finishing and having an empty slot i thought you know let's just sit back relax and have a nice chill episode of something one-off and completely random so you know what let's get into it and we're going to start ourselves a new game. So first things first, we need to set up our company logo. So of course we're going to have a nice blue background with a purple offset, I think. There we go. Very nice. Just bring it down a bit. There we go. And so now we've got the colour scheme set up. Let's have a look at the design. I'm thinking a nice, yeah, we we'll go with a nice circular, spiky, almost like a cog shape. And then we've either got a choice of tools or stars. And I think we'll go with the stars because why not? And then we'll go with some tools for the actual centre bit. And of course, well, it wouldn't be one of our companies if it wasn't called Sankey 84 Incorporated. So let's sign in and have a look what we've got. So of course, with this being our, the first level, we've just moved into our new office. And of course, we have got the important stuff set out so we've got all our tools there and if we just take a look at them we can upgrade our tools as we go along so we start off with a sponge to do the cleaning then we can upgrade it to a mop and then a pressure washer now while they do the exact same job of course as you upgrade them the time it takes for them to complete that job is less We've also got our scanner here, and I will be showing these off, but the scanner is, I think, one of the most important parts, because it saves so much time. So we'll look at them in a bit when we get to them, but as I say, we got the most important thing set up first, and that was our train set. I'll tell you now, what I would not do for this, this would be amazing to have in my house at the moment. I would love it. This is actually close to the size that I had as a child. I would probably say, well, it's about maybe half the size, not half, but double the size of the one I had as a child. Mine was probably about half this size. But yeah, you can actually get to play this train set, what is really, really good, but you need to unlock the part for it so if we just go into assemble tray at the minute all we've got is our train and some wagons and as you go through the game you can unlock more and there it is sat right there now there is a small issue with this and that's the physics of it and it doesn't keep the train on the track so many times it'll be going around a corner or a longer straight and it will just get stuck. It won't fall off, assuming you're going the right speed and you've got control of it, but 
it will just get stuck. So yeah, hopefully that will get looked at and fixed in the future. But while for me, I would sit here and play with this, and I have played with this train set for hours on end, you have come to see the actual game itself. So we come over here. I'm not going to do the how to play. We're going to go straight into the first level. So having a look at the map, you can see these are all the different levels. Each one progressively larger and more work than the other, although I do believe it's when you get, where is it, one of these ones. Yeah, it's actually the last two. Uh, less about the tr last, yeah. Yeah, if I remember correctly, it's the last two that are less about fixing up the train station and getting it all ready for trains to start arriving and more just busy work and it just kind of it's as if these two were just to try and extend the game but once we've done this first level we'll get into that later on so let's get into the first level shall we and see what's in store for us Okay, so here we are now, outside of the train station. That's a rural train station, so it's not that big. We've got our truck here, so let's just pick up these because we're going to need them. Now, as you can see, there is graffiti everywhere, things are broke, plants are overgrowing, and there is junk everywhere. And it's even broken down railway carriages. As you can see there, we do have some quests to try and complete, so we will get on with that. It's kind of the, the quests are more, how can I put this, requirements of the job. To be able to complete it, what you've been hired to do, along with cleaning up the station, uh, you have a job that you need to do. So first thing we're going to do is just drop that down there and then we're going to buy ourselves a skip. There we go. And then we can now start putting things into the skip. However, before we do that, we're going to get the axe out and start breaking things down that it will allow us just so we can get through and then make it easier to move around. Now some of this stuff isn't really axable, but that's okay. Now anything that we can't break down and we will just pick it up and I'll show that off in a moment how we get rid of some of this other stuff here. Right, that'll be for now. Right, so we need to get into here, and where did we drop it? Yeah, the only, that's another thing that keeps happening is things do seem to disappear when you put them down, but that's not a problem because all we need to do is travel back to our truck. Uh, quick click there, and it magically appears in the truck. So yeah, things do tend to fall through the scenery a bit, if you leave them, so always try and be as careful as possible. Now the reason we need this is to get this padlock off there, and that is the first class complete. Now we can just put that back on the floor, and we don't need to worry about that now, because that's all we need it for. Right, in and insert the fuses, and then put the power on, and then we can close that there. Next it wants us to fix a light switch, so all the way down this way. Now you don't have to do it these first, you can do these quests whenever you like, so you can clean the station up and then get on with it, and in some later levels that's actually the ideal way to do it. But this one, it's simple enough, just 
fix that. That's not how I go around fixing a light switch, but then this is only a game. And then we switch on to make sure it's working, and there we are, all our tasks are now complete. And as you can see there, in the top corner, we're 22% of the way through. Now, let's get on with the actual cleaning. And I did say before, the scanner was absolutely brilliant. So, I'll show off now why that is. So, if you just activate our scanner, beam goes out and it will show you everything that you need, sorted for one thing or another. But it won't stay like that, so don't think you can just activate and run around leisurely because, as you see, it does disappear after a while. So, you just need to quickly go around picking up all this rubbish and cleaning it up. Now, eventually, our bags are going to get filled because we only have a limited carry capacity for each different type of rubbish. So as you can see there in the bottom left hand corner, there are four different types of rubbish. We've got metals, we and plastic, we've got glass, we've got cardboard, and we've got general waste. Now a lot of these will just go straight into their own section. Others need to be broken down first before they can go into one of their sections. Some cannot be broken down at all and need to be get, got rid of as is. So let's just smash that up and as you can see there one of them is nearly full. So I don't think we're going to have an issue at the moment. So we are just going to quickly go around and as you can see here there are already some green bags Oh, now apart from the skip over there, we can put a second one here, but this time we do it segregated, we can actually do some recycling and we can then get some extra money in, because up there we've got a limited amount of money of 8400 Now, if you're not sure where things go off the top of your head, if you pick something up, down there on the bottom right it will tell you where it's best to put it but be careful because everything has limited space it's not a case of putting it in and then it will disappear you put it in and it stays so there you go you've got 120 for that one so we'll get another one and we'll put that in and we'll just quickly now go around Tidying up the station. So while we, that's not everything, we've cleared up a nice area to work, start working with. So what we're going to do is just get rid of these benches quickly and then we'll just quickly fix that door. We'll do in there in a bit because it's always best to do things in you know, a certain order. And we'll get to that as well. So let's just quickly pick up these last two bags. And then we'll get on to the other building and get that done. 
as you can see, just by clearing up that little area, we're already up to 43%. So, you know, I know this is only the first level, but a few minutes work and, you know, we're quite far through this one. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start inside here. And you can always tell where an area needs things adding to. Because there is a nice green circle in that area and then down at the bottom right hand corner it tells you the minimum of what it needs in there so this is the utility room so i need to put six furniture one trash can or bin if you're speaking proper english and then two decorations so if we go into our tablet that is conveniently on tab we can then go through so let's go down to furniture and we need a minimum of six so i'm going to put four shelving in and two cupboards and all the way down the bottom we're going to put some luggage storage in as well we need a rubbish bin so let's put the metal one in and some decorations so we're going to need some flowers so i think yeah two of these right that'll do for now now you can sell things for the exact same price that you bought them for so you don't have to worry about over buying so it's a simple case of waiting until it's green or yellow and then placing it down now the colors do in give you an indication of if you need to put it down so if it's red you can't because it's blocked by something green is an item that needs to go in here to complete your objectives and yellow is something that will go where you're trying to put it but you don't actually need it so you will see in a minute these will start turning yellow so let's just put these in there so there now you can see there that the furniture has now disappeared because you've got six of them but because these class as furniture as well when we get these into a position they will turn yellow so that means it can go down there but we don't actually need it now the one thing i would like to see a bit more because not too much on this level but later levels some of the lining up doesn't actually fit now that fits nicely against the wall all the way from one side to the other where in later levels it's slightly at an angle so that just really bugs me in the later levels right next we need to put our bin down so let's put it over in the corner over here because why, why waste space and then we'll put our decorations down so one in this corner and one in this corner to try and hide the smell of the bin now there is this room done so it's not too much it's not um you know too difficult but it's also not finished according to the game it is but you know you don't have to stop there as you see i added more in of the furniture but um, you can also add in anything else that you wish so let's get um, some security cameras in here and you can see that there are loads of different things you can put in and you don't have to stick to what they say it's only a minimum that you need in now again the security cameras uh a bit fiddly because you can't move them around you can only put them at certain angles so there i put that there because ideally it will be able to move and look around the majority of the room but yeah it always faces in that direction so you kind of always have to put it on the left corner of the wall if you want it to look realistic now of course you don't have to set it out nicely as I've done here you can just get them and just shove them all in a pile and the game will still recognize it but 
that's not how it should be. It should be, really. But again, if that's the type of station you want to build, you can. Now we get our magic sponge. I believe this is the same one they use on footballers when they get hurt. That magically heals a broken leg by rubbing it over them. And this manages to clean off the graffiti with ease. So if anyone knows where I can get one of these sponges, I could really do with it. Not that I've got graffiti or anything, but I do have some old paintwork in the back that I would love to get rid of. But it is an absolute pain to get rid of. But we'll put in these magic sponges. Well, it will be a doddle. Now we've got our toilets. So let's pop in and see what it says we need. So we need three bathroom elements and a sink. So we go in, go down to our sinks and we will pick a nice sink. I think we'll go with the marble. We could go with a nice cheap one, but you know, I want to go with the nice big fancy one. And then we'll go to the bathroom, of course, we're going to need a toilet, a soap dispenser and a hand dryer. But you can also put your paper towels in, your rhinos, and you can actually build your own cubicles. Now, they are very fiddly. What we're going to do, actually, if I get a, another toilet here in a moment, uh, we'll just buy a door and two walls. I'll show you how fiddly it is to actually build these. So, we'll come in now and uh, we'll get this one done first. So, turn the around and it does need to have the back against the wall what I do like so many games when they do you can put, you can technically put a toilet in the middle of the room where this one it has to be up against a wall put that in there we'll then get the sink and put it on this side here next the soap dispenser can go above the sink and then the hand dryer can go back wall here. So there we go, that's this one done. Not really much else we can do. Now again, another thing that I would like to, be able to would have liked to do is be able to put the lights in myself. So I'll put a nice little light up there to light it up. But just quickly now I'm going to show you how to build the cubicles and how fiddly they can actually be. So this is one of the side pieces and if you were ever unsure, make sure the metal part there is against the back wall. Now we'll put that down and I'll try and get it fitted in. There we go. So as you can see there, if I just get rid of that one, that is as close to the wall as I can get it, but there's still a small gap there. I can't get it any closer if I try. So if I just do that again in a moment, so this is going to stay here anyway, so it's not like it's going to be a waste, but yeah, if I do this pixel by pixel, you can see if I put it down right where it changes, that gap is fairly large really. So yeah, it's a little bit out, so I think the detection boxes are a little bit too generous. I know you don't want it, you know, right in the wall there oh well, well you know why wouldn't you sometimes you know you might want to have a small block that is hidden away but okay you can't do that now next thing you need to you need to put down is the door and for some reason the doors are sort of going out you can try and put it the other way but then you get it from with hitboxes again so then it's getting it right in the correct spot there we go nice and flush and okay this is a nice out open area but in later levels you don't have that luxury in some time so they're indoors and you usually crowded by other things so you don't really get to you know put them in with as much ease now this one again, you, you can see there the detection box on this side is not letting me put it there. 
I can put it there, but there'll still be a gap. Now, even if I was to come right out here, and put it there, you can still see there is that gap there. I cannot go any closer, so there's going to be a gap. And again, I think this is just down to the texture boxes. So it's in, but you've got a little gap. Now, you cannot open this door. It just stays like this. Where all these other doors you can open and close to go through, you can't. So if you were to build all your cube buses to see how many you can get in a certain area, and then try putting the toilets in, now, in this one again, you're outside, so, you know, I can see through, I can get in, but other ones you can't, I could be around this side because, you know, it's blocked, there's something blocking me off, or, you know, I've got a door frame in my way, so again, just being able to open and close these doors properly would be quite nice, yeah, you know, have a button that you can pick it up, but have one where you can open and close the doors and just alter the hitboxes a slight bit. But there, that one's in now. So if this one is in use, um, a customer can come and use that one. So that's that area all nice and clean and built. So I am now just going to quickly go and clean up this one and then we're going to put in what's this stuff requires plus maybe a few extras so let's oh there we go by putting that in there we've actually done 50 percent of it and now officially we've completed the level we can now move on to the next level but of course we're not going to do that obviously it's saying that if we carry on we can unlock a part for our train station uh, it said there, um, if we carry on, we can unlock a part for our train set. Now, while that is nice, it would also be nice if we could, you know, use it in other ways as well. And I'll get into that at the end. So, just quickly fix these windows. That's all them ones done. And get the ones around the front. Uh, as you can see that that bag appeared out of nowhere because our glass bag was full so it just appears in front of us so that's fine so we'll then just finish this window here there we go and that's all the windows done so i will now carry on cleaning and repairing and once that's done we can then start on making the station look ready for use. Now there is another thing that as well that needs to be done as you saw before. One or more of them carriages are actually damaged and cannot be pulled away so you need to fix them and fixing them is as easy as well doing anything in this game. Oh, a window. Let's just get this window and then we'll go and quickly fix up the carriages. And the other thing is what well, you can do if you want, you can actually go through the windows, but never mind. Right, so these here, if we just press the Q, there we go. They that is what needs replacing. So just down to the wrench and any mechanics can tell me is this actually how you replace the wheels on a broken down wagon. I can almost guarantee you that the answer is no, but you know, how realistic the games want to get. So there we go, get these all fixed now. And then once they are, well, the fix, they don't go anywhere, they don't do anything. It's just a bit of busy work really, but it's busy work that's relaxing and enjoyable now of course this game isn't going to be for everyone but if you like tossing around in your games and having somewhat if limited freedom in what you do then this game can last for hours there we go, one more 
that. Now the enhance can be a little bit fiddly to get to, but everything can be done. So there we go, we've got the next start there. And then we just tag that, so we've got some rubbish here, and then there is something a little floating around. Ah, oh, there it is, I've just seen it. So we'll quickly pick this up. There a minute, and then grab the bottle that I missed, and that is why that scanner is so handy. That bottle just seems to camouflage in. So there we go. There. Now the reason about smashing things up as well is because when they get full, like this section is, you can't put any more in because it's full, and yes, even the skips can get full. Now if I put them pallets straight in there then it would have taken up a lot of space work using the axe on it it broke it down as you can fit more okay. so if you can break things down unless you really enjoy trying to do a physics based tetris then yeah always smash it down and break it but i think that should be nearly the outside of this area done and then we can quickly do inside and clear that out so just do yeah just the back here and there are still other items to pick up so i'm just going to quickly go and finish these now and then once we finish cleaning we'll get the last few bits in as i say this is the first level so you know it's pretty small but in fact it's one of the most enjoyable ones out of all the levels I'd maybe say the second level is my favourite and who knows in the future I might even show that off but you know I didn't want to go ahead and show you things that way through again now as you can see there, there are physics on everything and I don't believe this is going to fit in and might be looking. We'll just turn it around. Can we get a leg or some trap? There we go. Just about got it in. So there is more in there that's going to need putting in, but I don't believe we're going to get any more in the yellow. And I am relatively sure. Yeah, there's quite a few bottles in there. So we're going to need. That's green actually. So we'll leave for now and see. But yep, yeah, I will see us in a moment when this entire area has been cleaned out. Okay, so there we go, we've got that cleared up nicely, and as you can see, there was two little issues with that. 
one that chair isn't registered as actually being in the bin and the yellow bag fell off and went into the blue one costing us money now that is frustrating for multiple reasons if you put it in and you're put in there deliberately then yes i understand you know taking money from you but something like that is quite frustrating when it fell and i just couldn't get to it quick enough to stop it from going in not being able to pick it up you know it would be nice to be able to pick that up get that money back and put it in for that reason but because there is nothing else we can do now with that because well everywhere is cleaned up we can now empty that out for 200 and then that one can fall straight in so don't do what i've done there because that can happen put it in the front if it's not going to fit and then put it in separately but yeah let's get on with this one now so we've got the actual station itself and there are two separate rooms here so we're going to go into the office first and we're going to buy and put in what he requires so he wants a bench or a chair so let's have a look um, because it's an office let's get a nice office chair for them there we go the classic one they also want some furniture so we'll put some shelving in and a drawer and a bookshelf now as i say there are more down oh actually yeah a desk we're gonna need a desk aren't we okay and so yeah so always look down before you decide what you're gonna put in but as I say, if you do buy too much, if I was to buy the locker, then put it down and then come back, because if you want it, I can sell it for the 200 that I bought it for. So, you know, not too bad. Right, electronics, so we're going to get a camera, we'll get a CB radio, and we we'll might as well get a coffee machine as well, and a final why we're at it. And then he's going to need somewhere, or she, sorry. Is going to need somewhere to put some rubbish so there we go now you can see at the bottom there the quick bar is full you can still get different items but you won't be able to actually use them until you've used some of these up and i don't know how you actually scroll through to get the other stuff it would be nice to maybe have a little arrow down the on the right hand side so you can scroll down the stuff we've got but for now we've got what we've got so I'm gonna put his chair in the corner here and then we're gonna put the desk right in front here. so if any of customers have an issue they can come straight into here and there's his the desk right next <coughs> can put the bin down here next to them for convenience and then we're going to put the security camera up in this corner so the desk can be seen from there if this doesn't get in the way I don't know why you can't move that but never mind right shelving let's put that over this side for them and then we'll put the drawers here and then the bookcase as soon as they walk in there we go right now the electronics so let's put the radio over here and put it right on the corner nice there yep that's fine i know it's backwards but if i put it the other way then it will glitch in through the table so it can look that way and then the coffee machine now not everything can actually go on these shelves but some things can so you can actually put the shelves in and then put the equipment and stuff on likewise you know you can't put anything on these surfaces or up the top Oh, you can put them on the desks and stuff like that 
So I'm going to put the coffee machine on here because we're going to need access to the top of it and if I put it on there, we won't be able to. And then the fan can go on shelving. Okay. It's not plugged in or anything, it's just there for looks, but you know, it's there nonetheless. So there we go, the office is done. So now we have the station itself and this is going to need a fair bit on it. So we're going to need a minimum of six benches and because we're inside we're going to have to get the good benches. There are a fair few benches as you saw. Oh, that's the yeah, there are a fair few benches and chairs if you saw but as I say, this is inside. We want our station to look the best it can. So we're gonna go with the nice Easter ones, in my opinion. So it says six, but we're gonna get more. We're going to go to 10 for now. And then the rubbish bins, it says we need three. So because we're inside, I'm gonna go with, let's just go with the metal ones. We need two clocks. So, they're on six of the decorations now. Let's see, you know what? Let's go with these nice ones down the bottom, I think. I mean, we can always buy more. And um, the food machines, so we'll just buy one of each of the vending machine and the cold beverages. There are other ones down here. And we're going to need a ticket machine. And of course, we're gonna go with the British ticket machine because you know what? I'm British and they're the best. We're the ones who created the railways, so let's put them in. And we're gonna go with four of them because there's nothing worse than trying to get a ticket and having to queue for it. So they're in now, so let's start placing them down. I'm gonna put the ticket machines yeah, over here. So when you come in machines are right here for you and yeah they're behind the door so there is a chance of them getting bashed but you know what I don't have to worry about that so there we go. three of them fit nicely there can we get squeeze F4 yeah we can just about squeeze F4 there we go all nicely together well, that one's something can move a bit more picky I know but do it, do it right. So. There we go, that's better. Yeah, that looks a lot nicer now. Right, okay. Next, we'll put the vending machines in, and wouldn't you know it, there's a nice area back here where we can put them. Put that one in there, and then this one next to it. There we go, nicely done. And of course, well, the vending machines are so let's put one of our bins down next to it. So anyone getting any food can open it straight away and put it in the bin there. And while we are at it, I might as well put a bin in each corner as well. And we'll incorporate them in a bit. Now the clocks. Now where I think we'll put one on this wall because when you're getting your ticket, you can see what time it is while you're checking which train you want to get and then we'll put one on the opposite wall. Okay, now let's put the benches in. Now, I think we'll have... Let's put some against the wall here. So we've got in the middle there, I think. That'll go nice. Now, this is what I was on about, about the line-up. That bugs me. It's not lined up with the floor. It might be okay with the wall, but even that looks slightly out with itself. But that will bug me and I cannot turn it to line it up because if I turned it once you get that and then that is even worse. So maybe, you know, it would be nice if the turn wasn't as jagged you know it was more smooth so you can get in that nice level line up and then we'll put this one actually no let's go 
No, wait a minute. Move you down here. And I know a lot of people are like, well, why? Why are you being so fiddly and picky about stuff? Well, it's my train station. I'm allowed to be picky and fiddly about stuff. I want it to look the best it can be. But this is what I was on about now when I was saying about things being out. According to the game, they are in the same position next to each other, but of course, it's not. We'll put another one there, and I guess we'll just have to move this one out a little bit. Oh, there we go. We've got now a bit more level, but yeah, so that is one thing that does bug me a little bit with this but you know what it's not exactly a game ru ruiner it just you know would be nice that we could get them all nice and level sometimes and again here's another one where the posts are just out slightly either the posts themselves or the hitboxes are slightly different on them but as i say that's not wrong because all we'll do is we'll just move the other ones to line up with them. And then we can turn these around because there is a idea I have that we want to do. So that is them in place. And now we just need the flowers to be put in. So what I'm going to do is, if I can, oh, yeah, there we go. One in there, and one in here, if it will go. Come on, just seen it a minute ago. Oh, where are you? There we go. Done. So put them in there, there. And no, that's a bit out for my liking. So jump up the top. You up, and I'm just going to move you down this way a bit. And um, yeah, it's better. That's better. It's not perfect, but it is better. And then we'll put you over here, and then you over here, and we can put some nice plants down this way. So it just makes the area look a bit brighter. But before we put this last one down. There is a few things missing, let me just check a minute. Um, yeah, we've still got out here to do, so that's okay, we can put this down there, that's fine. So we'll put you here on this side. That's nice and symmetrical. And what we're going to do as well is we're going to get a departure board and we're going to put it up inside just so people can check when things are due. And again, we'll put it over here if we can. Oh no, that's hanging a bit too far over. Okay, well, what we'll do is we'll put it, we'll put it outside the office, I think. There we go. So if he, the office manager is sat down here, you can still see out and see everybody, no problem. And then if you're in here, you can see the departure board. So there is that, and now we've just got the platform itself. So let's go and buy the stuff for that. So we're going to need some benches, and because these are outside, we're going to put, I know it says waiting room benches, but I'm going to put these on the platform themselves. So we'll get eight of them, and we'll see why in a moment. We're going to need two bins, and again, because it's outside, we're going to get the concrete ones, and we're going to have to put a departure board, so I'm going to go with the electronic one, and it says a clock, so I'm going to go this nice big one, I think. So there we go, we've got everything we need, and a little bit more. The first things first is the benches, so what I'm going to do is just spin this one around here, and I'm going to put it just under here. Do that and then you're gonna go next to it here. Actually no you're not because it's that there. So you're gonna go here, get this lined up, make sure it's not covering the near the manhole cover. 
And there we go. And then another one. Oh, there we go. And then one more down by this board here. And then we're just going to do it back to back. So we've got eight. I know we only need the four, but you know what? There's nothing worse than waiting for a train and having to stand up when you're tired and just want to sit down and relax for a bit, especially after a long day of shopping. So there we go, slightly out, but again, not much I can do with that, and there we go. Right, so there should be plenty of seating here. Next we'll put the bins down, so one here, and then one down this side, there we go. Straight on the circle. And that is 98 cents, so we've got all five stars, so we can just leave now if we wish, but, you know, I want to get all of it done. I don't want to leave anything missing, so. There's the board there, and the final piece, the clock. And when I say final piece, I mean possibly the final piece. Let's fit it on. No, it would have been nice if it could have fit it onto the side, let me know. Right, we're gonna have to go up here as well, so let's just put it underneath the board so people can see. Now it's 98, so there is something missing. So again, this is where the scan comes in handy because you can now just scan the area and find what you've missed. And I think I know where it is. It's these bricks over here, so let's quickly pick them up. And I think this should be it done. Yep, 100% done. There we go, we have finished. So, here we go, we now get a nice little zoom around it. And that, that was an hour, well, just short of an hour actually. And it was really nice and relaxing, not having to think about anything. And yep, yeah, it's all here as we go straight through the door. And everything is where we put it. And it doesn't matter how you do it, it's up to yourself. There's no, apart from obviously a minimum of what needs to go where, there's no rules about what you put where or how much you put in. I mean, there's a big open space that I could have put loads of stuff in there. I mean, I added an extra toilet. I mean, there's nothing worse than being there needing the toilet and not being able to go because somebody's in it. But yeah, so that is the first level complete and done. And this will just keep leaping around now. So I think I will just put in the the, da the only downside I have found with this game. And that is, it's short. The levels are pretty simple. I didn't find myself on any one level for, I think, an hour and a half was the longest and that was because there was one item I just could not find in a huge area. So, you know, I spent most of my time actually trying to find this one can that was hidden. Um, so yeah, it was not exactly long or taxing, but you know, that's the charm of this game. It is really enjoyable and chill and it gives you the f so much freedom i would like to see more like for example you know maybe being able to paint the walls a different color uh, being able to put flooring down so where all this is broken and uh, it's mud you know be able to pave over it change the flooring of the platforms or inside you know take the lights down and put more up or different ones knock some while there's not many inside walls on this level some of the later levels have loads of inside walls in and it'd be nice if you could you know completely knock it down everything down upstairs downstairs um, all the wall, inside walls, 
and just have one big empty shell and then you could arrange it and build it however you like um, be able to you know maybe I don't know you know add a roof over the station here I know it's only a small one but you know add and take away the roofs to ch so you can then completely design it how you wish like for example in here which right now the office I would actually extend that office along if it was made just you know nice and square and a nice bigger office um, I would obviously have extended the toilets and I've had the toilets take up that entire wall and just had it all cubicled off so you don't think that but this game as I say is what you see and I do enjoy it I look forward to seeing where this game goes hopefully there will be a um, free D mode as a you're free to do it you get a blank canvas and you can just do whatever you wish with it now there is a sandbox mode for you once you've completed the entire every single mission but all that is it's all the levels again but you have unlimited money well I don't need unlimited money there's plenty of money going around to complete them so yeah I'm hoping that the sandbox mode in the future adds a set a station that is literally just a huge field with one or more tracks. Maybe there's two of them. There's a small one for people who just want to do a nice small delicate train station with just the one track, a bit like this but with no platforms, no buildings, nothing. You get to put the platforms in, you get to put the buildings in it however you wish, you do it all. And then maybe another one that is similar size to the final level that is absolutely huge with multiple tracks in. So you can do a nice big grand station. But uh, just a few little pictures that I would like to see in future updates or DLCs updates not DLCs I hate DLCs um, so yeah all in all a great game perfect for that nice sit back chill relaxing couple of hours as I say you know just sit down for a couple of hours when there's nothing on to do so yeah, there we go. This is Train Station Revenation. And I've loved it. But in the meantime, I'm in San Kate 4. This has been Train Station Revenation. Thank you so much for joining me. Look after each other and goodbye.